Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to be taking a look at these. You should we should we zoom in? Should we zoom in? These are some replacement joysticks for Joy-Con by Ghoulie Kit, but they have a little little bonus thing. They're not just standard ones. They use Hall Effect sensors. They are Hall Effect sensing sticks. What are those? I'm going to go over this very quickly. Typical joysticks use potentiometers, and what that essentially is, is you have two pieces of metal, technically three, I'm oversimplifying this, but one touches the other, and when you move the control stick, it moves the wiper back and forth, and it can detect differences in voltage. The only problem is, it relies on friction. You hear that? That's Joy-Con drift waiting to happen. Hall effect sensors, on the other hand, rely on magnets that never actually touch, so there's no friction, no wear, Arguably, in theory, no drift. Like, ever. So you can understand the appeal of something like this. It's just a drop-in replacement. Yes, you've got to open up your Joy-Con, but that's if you if you care about Hall Effect sensors, you're going to be able to open a Joy-Con. These were announced slash teased ages ago, released quite a while ago as well, but we are finally looking at them today, and there's a goodly reason for it. You'll see. But anyway, that's more than enough waffling, let's dive right into things. Okay, let me give you a brief history lesson of how this all went down, and it is relevant and it is important, I do promise you. So, basically, we've had com email communication with Ghoulikit for a very, very long time, back and forth, we've shown some of their stuff off. We have, you know, sort of, we're friendly with them, you know, we, there's no expectations, but we're friendly. And when they finally released these, I was surprised that we didn't get an email, so I reached out to them, you know, we have a contact, I reached out, and I didn't get a reply for quite some time, like a, a number of weeks, which is a weirdly long amount of time. But then, when I got the email back, they said that there was... I... I... They didn't want to send them right away because the, the previous batch had something that they weren't 100% happy with. They wanted to send um, the uh, the sort of the newer batch when it was ready so that we could give it, you know, sort of a fair shake. And I thought, okay, that's fair enough. You know, manufacturing, all sorts of things happen. So I thought, I'll wait for a bit. And then, uh, then I think it was about a month went by, roughly. And I am I am only estimating. We still hadn't heard back from Ghoulikit. I emailed them and they said, yeah, no, it's still coming, but, you know, we need a bit more time. And I thought, fair enough. But then very shortly afterwards, I was contacted by a distributor, Acnes, A-K-N-E-S. Mm -hmm. They got in touch and they were like, hey, we got some of these. Do you want some? And I was like, yeah. So they sent them over and I formed some opinions on them. And those opinions were not top draw, to say the least. So basically, one of the big things with that first batch that I received was the fact that the sticks are tough. Like, really tough. I'm not saying that they're, like, impossibly hard to move or anything like that, but, um, suffice it to say that they are stiff, and they're sort of sticky and sort of gungy and just not very nice, and they do require more force to move. I tried, and th th this is a Joy-Con with, with it in. Ooh. I tried playing Smash with these, and um, I had some real difficulty because an important part of Smash is to be able to flick the stick in order to dash, and it didn't really work. I mean, to be fair, I could dash, but it required so much more force that, and ugh, this sounds like I'm, I'm sort of like making it up and I'm being sort of dramatic about it, but my finger was sliding off the stick because of the amount of force that I had to put on in order to make a dash, and so it was actually slipping off. That ain't good. But then Ghoulie Kit got back in touch and they said, hey, Alex, we've got some of the new batch ready. They're, they're on their way to you. And I was like, okay, great. And I didn't explicitly say that I'd already got some, um, but I did think that it would be interesting to see both batches, to say the least. The second batch arrived and they were identical. They were gummy, they required a load of force to move and everything like that, just overall, not a good time. And then I thought, well, maybe, just maybe, they need breaking in. So, you know, I, I, I installed a pair in my partner's um, Joy-Con and installed a pair in my own, and we went through trying to break them in. And uh, we broke them in for about two, maybe three months. Yeah, there's, it's, it's been a long time since I've received this, I've got to be brutally honest. But I wanted to make sure that, you know, it wasn't just something like, oh yeah, it's it's pretty stiff when you get them, but then later down the line, they're beautiful. Th no. No. Unfortunately, they're pretty much the same. It may well be that these will never drift. Ever. 
But the thing is, is that if they're not nice to use from the off, I, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they will, you know, sort of never drift again. If I don't want to use them, they're also never going to drift because they're not being used. I do think it's unfair to go purely on anecdotal stuff, though, so I do want to do an admittedly not very scientific test uh, involving a set of scales and showing how much force is required. And it, it's an accurate set of scales, don't worry. But how much force is required to actually move these flipping sticks compared to not only like a worn in one, a non worn in one, but also uh, a worn in original Joy Con and a brand spanking, basically unused Joy Con. Let's see how we get on. Okay, excuse the audio, but this is what we've got to work with. Keep an eye on this one here. It's related to this pad here, as you can see. Whee! First one we're going to test. This is a brand new Hall Effect stick installed. It's the Goody Kit one. Um, it's been used for less than five minutes. I'm going to be pushing down using the sticks in order to see how much, around about halfway, how much weight that requires. So, for example, this one, between 60 and 70 grams. That, that, that's a lot of pressure. Just, just saying. This is one that's been broken in over the course of about three months. Bit less, but still around 60 grams. This is a brand new Joy-Con, you know, standard stick in there and everything. Halfway. Yeah, about 30 or 40 grams. And a well-used one, which is basically what everyone uh, watching will have. Yeah, again, about 30 or 40 grams. I can't deny, and I'm not going to sugarcoat it, I am really thoroughly disappointed with these. I thought that this was just going to be the, the drop-in solution, so you can keep using your Joy-Con for years and years and years, and it'll be just the same, it just won't wear out. You'll never get Joy-Con drift again, but unfortunately, it's just not the case, because they're just not a pleasure to use. And the thing is, is that I don't think it's the Hall Effect sort of technology that's causing it inherently, because Ghoulie Kit have done loads of Hall Effect. Like, this is a Hall Effect stick. It feels great. There's, you know, sort of no muddiness, no sort of goopiness to it. It's snappy, responsive, smooth, really, really smooth. Like, these are flipping good sticks. So, I don't know. I don't know what it is about these, whether it's the form factor or something, but there's something that means that these, these are not the solution that I'd personally hoped they would be. I thought you just stick them in and it's like using just a standard Joy-Con, but you never have to worry about drift. And unfortunately, that is not the case. For whatever reason, these are muddy, goopy, hard to use, and just unfortunately, thoroughly disappointing. If you do want to learn more about these things, you got thumbs like Hercules or something like that. Hey, hey, finally a connection to this. That's from the Parthenon. I literally had no idea what to put in the background. Then feel free to check out the link in the description, but unless there's a massive overhaul on these, I can't, I, I just can't recommend them. I can't, and it really pains me to say that because Ghoulie Kit have done good stuff before and will no doubt do good stuff in the future, but this is not one of those good stuff. Thank you so much for watching this admittedly bit of a downer of a video, but uh, if you liked it anyway, then why don't you uh, goop your way over to that subscribe button and <laughs> be sure to check out nintendolive.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching, which is admittedly a bit of a downer of a video in the end. Um, if you like this video regardless, then make sure you, I don't know, uh, uh. Hall effect sensors, on the other hand, use magnets, and since nobody knows how they work, they don't- <laughs>